In Inksoft, you can sell through the online designer. You can also sell through online stores. But the third method of selling is using Inksoft proposals. And this is a tool that's going to allow you to empower your sales team. You can close more deals by leveraging proposals to streamline the sales process. You can sell more proactively. You look more professional than your competitors. You can respond to customers faster than your competitors. You can use proposals to collaborate on graphics. You can use it to organize your sales pipeline. But most importantly, it's mobile responsive. So when you send a proposal out to a client, they can view that proposal on their cell phone, they can approve it, and they can also pay on their cell phone or tablet. Inksoft proposals are going to streamline your method of traditional selling. So normally you're sending out quotes, customer reviews the quote, there's some back and forth communication, customer approves the quote, and then they pay you. Well, we could do that same process, but using electronic tools in a web-based interface. So in order to create a proposal, I'm going to click on create. Inksoft has an integrated CRM, so I can create a new customer or add a customer. So I'll add this customer right here. This customer is already associated with Central Boosters and is associated with that store. I've assigned that customer to the store. By linking the proposal to the store, I'm able to bring over all of the settings from the store as well as the branding, including the colors and the logo. I'm gonna name the proposal. I'm gonna select an expiration date. I'm gonna push that out 30 days. I'm gonna select an enhanced date. All the tax calculations are going to be handled by TaxJar. That's an integrated service that's part of Inksoft that will calculate the sales tax based on the zip code. I'm going to set up all the payment details. In this case, I'm going to require a deposit. Deposit is going to be a percentage of total, 50%. And the balance is going to be due seven days after the initial deposit. I can handle all the shipping details here as well. And what I'm going to do next is add a product to the proposal. So I'm going to click on add product. I'm going to select the product that I previously set up with the store. So I'm going to select this product. I'm going to choose just to include the Navy version in the proposal. I'm going to click on next and I'm going to input all of my quantities. Now, when I originally set up this product, I set it up with retail pricing because we had a revenue sharing program where we're giving a percentage back to the school, but because they're placing a bulk order, I need to use wholesale pricing. So I'm going to add this to the proposal. But then I'm going to go and override the retail price with a wholesale price. When I've updated the pricing, I'm going to click on update. I'm then going to save the proposal. To send the proposal to the customer, I can click on the send proposal button. This will send out an automated email that I can customize. We'll also change the proposal status to in progress. I can view what the customer will see by clicking on customer view. I can preview it as a quote or an invoice. This is a pretty standard quote with all the details of the proposal. I can also download a PDF and attach a PDF to an email. But the preferred method of sending out the proposal would be an approval. So if I go back to customer view in preview as an approval, I can see this is going out as an interactive web page. So we've picked up all of the colors and branding and the logo from the original store. Customer can view the proposal. They can see a close up of the artwork, all the quantity details, the color details. You'll notice there's an approve and pay button here, and also an approve and pay button here. So we're prompting them to make payment. We have our expiration date. There's also a built in messaging system. So if they want to comment back and forth, we can do that right here on this web page using the messaging system, or they can call us or email us from these links. And when they're ready to sign off on the proposal and pay, they can simply click on approve and pay. We set this particular proposal up as a deposit of 50%. They can click on next and they can pay via credit card or ACH. In this particular proposal, I have it set up so they can pay with ACH, electronic bank transfer. And for larger orders, that's a great way to save on your credit card fees. So once they submit payment, this automatically becomes an order and gets populated into my order manager. If you'd like to drill down on the details and find out how Inksoft can help you to grow your business, I'd suggest booking a personalized demo at Inksoft.com.